All right, Kurt Klapier here with teachmomhow.com. What I'm doing here is showing you another trick on how to create some cool things for your family history website or your family history documents, however, however you want to do it. What I've made here is a fan chart of my family tree. It goes five generations back. Here's me in the middle. One, two, three, four. Five, six, I lied. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six generations back, this fan chart goes. And it's real simple to make using a free tool called Family Search. I'll show you how to do that here in just a second. And I'm also going to show you another cool thing that I've done on my family history website where I've isolated certain members of the of the fan chart. So for example, on this page, I'm talking about my grandma, Lorraine Flossie Gray. And so I kind of, I made her name stand out on the fan chart and kept everything in color from me to her so that you can see my line to her. And I grayed everybody else out in the fan chart so that you can see my connection to that person. And as I do other family members, you'll see the same thing. I'll, you'll see my line in color back to the person that I'm talking about. And the rest will be will be uh, grayed out or black and white, so that it, so that the line to the person I'm talking about stands out. Like in this case, Lorraine Flossy Gray. So I'm going to show you how to do this in this tutorial. It's super simple. You can do this uh, using two free websites. I'll walk this. I'll walk you through this in a series of videos, step by step. Super simple. So this is just an introduction. We're going to show you how to how to create a fan chart of your family history, of your tree, back to up to six generations. And then we're going to show you how to isolate that fan chart so that you can make certain people stand out on the on the fan chart. I'll show you that now. Uh, go ahead and watch the next video. We'll walk you through the steps. Again, we're going to do this using two free tools. One is FamilySearch.com and the second one is Pixlr. So I'll show you how to do that in the next video.